Hi. I just wanted to hop on really quick just to say how excited I am for Saturday, February 3rd. We are going to be in Nacogdoches, Texas for our Poise for Purpose live podcast. We have some amazing women in ministry that are going to be a part of the panel. And uh, we have Evangelist Katrina Moore. We have Evangelist Stephanie Bird. We have Supervisor Ella Nobles, who is the founder and operator of the, um, the Hope Center. And we also are going to have Reverend Karen Christopher. I am ecstatic and excited for you all to be a part of this conversation. Um, so we are just going to be <clears throat> talking about um, women in ministry. We're going to talk about purpose. We're going to talk about hope. We're going to um, have a time of empowerment and encouragement. So you can meet us there. We will be live in person at the Hope Center. Or you can just join us on um, Facebook or YouTube. <clears throat> we will be live. So I want you to be um, there to be a part of the conversation. Um, I'm so thankful for the Hope Center for allowing us to come and to have our event there um, for me to come back to Nacogdoches and to have something there um, for Poise for Purpose. You know, <clears throat> back in um, December, the last day of December, I was able to preach a message um, about Nehemiah. And um, I thought that it was great because when we met Nehemiah in the first chapter, we just met him as um, a man of his position. He was just a cupbearer. He was um, just the person that brung the drinks to the king. He wasn't, we didn't meet him as a prophet. We didn't meet him um, <clears throat> in that first chapter as anybody great and wonderful. But when he heard about what was going on back in Jerusalem, his heart was touched and he got a burden for doing the work of the Lord. And um, I really believe that this is the time and season to be about our father's business, to be about our purpose, to make sure that we are found doing what God has called us to do. <clears throat> and so Nehemiah was great because he did something that we always forget to do. He fasted and he prayed for God's direction and God sent the king to give him all of the resources and all the help that he needs. So I want to share with that, to share that with you, um, those of you that are sitting and they're, they're, are saying right now, I can't do X, Y, and Z because I'm not this or that. God wants to use you where you are. He wants to send the, the resources. He wants to send the people that need to come and help you. You have to put yourself in position. And what does that look like? Fasting and prayer. A lot of us are right now going through consecration. We're going through our fasting time at the beginning of the year. So make sure you utilize this time and be seeking the Lord. And if you meet us on February 3rd, then you are going to be even more ex and inspired to do what God has called you to do. Poise for Purpose is a ministry that I founded over, who we started in 2015 um, and had our first event in 2016. Um, and so the ministry is all about igniting spiritual growth. So that is um, a purpose to ignite that fire within you that God has planted there, that God has purposed there, and for you to just be on fire for what God has called you to do. So I pray that you can join us. It's going to be an awesome time. Again, meet us there Saturday, February 3rd, um, either in person or online at the Hope Center. Thank you. Bye.